Hey, what's up everybody? My name is TrophyNet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the that much difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and we, uh, well, we got a bit of information from the Boot Black over there in regards of, uh, that lost location. So now we're gonna follow Regis around the city to see if we can't find that, uh, red door that, uh, the little boy was talking about. Regis is apparently not in a talkative mood, so I'm gonna have to do the talking, but maybe we can... Oh, door. there's a red door! When the boot black mentioned. Never mind! That wasn't a really hard search, now was it? The toy shop. Okay. Anybody home? There's a lot of crows as well. Friends of yours, Regis? Won't budge. Gotta break it down. You might just as well stand out in the street, pound on a drum and holler, Detlaf, I'm coming for you. A bit more finesse, I implore you. Let's hear your idea. Give me a moment. Are you gonna change into a bat or... What is his belt doing? Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's a, a lot more subtle. Turn into blue smoke. Nice. Ever consider becoming a burglar? Skill like that had come in awful handy. I considered it briefly, but ultimately concluded it would be terribly dull. Come. Yeah, because you can get into pretty much everything with that skill, I presume. Wouldn't be any uh, any challenge in that. Looks pretty cozy. Aside from those dolls, those look creepy. I like the bunny more. That bunny. Apparently they only have six letters in the alphabet here. Sense him. No, he's not here, but he was here recently. His scent is still strong. Is that love using crows as well? Because uh, it's starting to look like that. Four. Let's look around. Four dolls. Are those the four guys he killed? Because it's. Oh no, there's more than four. Search the toy shop using your Witcher senses. We'll start here at the bunny. Old toy. No use to anyone. Shame. Must have brought someone joy sometime. Yeah, probably. I find these puppets rather disturbing. You're not the only one, Regis, but I just want to check out everything before I do anything. A letter to the shopkeeper. Dear Master Shopkeeper, for a long, long time I have been asking my parents to buy me a toy. Mummy always cries and says that we haven't got any money. Daddy gets cross when I ask him when he will earn some and once he nearly hit me. My friends have beautiful toys. Laura has a teddy bear and Michelle has a doll with golden hair that you can brush with a real comb. I worry that I will never have a toy, which is why I am writing to you, Master Shopkeeper. I wanted to write this letter to you a long time ago, but I didn't know how to write then. Now I know. If you have a pretty toy that other children don't want, I will look after it. It will be happy with me. Please don't laugh at me. I know I am little, but I also know that toys are not really alive. They only live in our imagination. But so what? I would love it very much. Isa. That's a nice letter, not really uh, something that we needed right now. More crap. What's this? A toy sword? Looks like it. You can't even investigate these dolls, which is creepy. And we are unrefined copper ore. That sounds some like something we could use. More crap. Hmm. Somebody fixed this recently. Is that love into toys? A horsey. No dust mark. Somebody moved this here recently. What the hell is that love? What can he do with a toy store? Nice little trinket. That's what I'm wondering. So let's head upstairs. These toys look... Attic. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, indeed. But is this the attic? So this is his nest. Need to look around. Just looks like the second floor to me, but... Uh, that on the wall looks bad. Let's check out the rest first. A lot of dolls, obviously. More toys, I think I can loot that thing. Let's take the linen, I can't really use the toys. Okay, Geralt, a music box or? Nice tune. Indeed. 
I'm not certain why, but it reminds me of home. Our true home from before the conjunction of spheres. The tools were used recently. Detlov unwind by fixing toys between murders. Really now, Geralt, must you? Why is the music getting so loud? There's a face on the wall. I'm just gonna check this. Suspicious letter. Detlov van der Eretain. You do not know us, but we know you to be a vampire. We know also of your weakness for the wench they call Renoed. Now you know this. We shall chain her down and let rats feed on her. We shall flay the skin from her flesh. Yet you can save her. You need but travel to Beauclair, where you shall slay five men in the manner oh, you describe. He's being blackmailed. You must complete the killing in three days. Fail, and the next letter you receive will contain a memento of your failure. Your beloved's finger. There you have it. Proof positive Detlav killed not of his own accord. A blackmailer sunk his claws into him. Okay. Any idea who it could be? Any idea what it could be? Detlav have any enemies? Indeed. Detlav gains foes occasionally, but they never live long. One might have managed to evade him. Possible in theory, but I know of none. It would have to be someone devilishly dangerous. As you well know, having faced Detlav yourself, yeah. whoever it is, it is someone new. A normal man wouldn't uh, provoke him like that. I wouldn't be able to keep that woman from him as well. Renawed. Who's Renawed? His one-time lover. The sole human woman with whom he was very close. That one, because yeah. She accepted him. With her aid and care, he found a place for himself in this hostile world. She began the work that I strive to continue. Wait. Ever meet her? Never had the you make it sound like she's dead already. She deserted him a time before he came around to save me. Though he always claimed she'd gone missing. Okay. And why did he believe she'd gone missing then? Why do you think that? Any signs or clues to that effect? None to be found. Apparently she disappeared one day. Her belongings disappeared with her. Not a scenario one associates with kidnapping. In my humble opinion, she left on her own. Scared off, perhaps, by a bout of Detlaf's rage that revealed his other, more monstrous side. Detlaf have trouble letting go, accepting that she'd left him? Is that so hard to believe? Do you know no humans who've struggled with just such a thing? And Detlaf is so much more emotional than most humans. Not only was she his beloved, his lover, his mate, she was a member of his pack. And one never leaves one's pack voluntarily. Okay. I must say that laughs is a, is a, a great drawer because that looks amazing. A great artist. Ever try to look for her? Yeah. I love ever try to find her? I mean, if she was that important, higher vampires have their ways. All kinds should have been easy as pie for him. Geralt, as you rightly noted, we are vampires, not miracle workers. He searched for months on end before giving up. Clearly, Renoued knew him all too well. Enough to cover her tracks, leave no way for him to find her. Smart girl, or clever girl, eh? So, uh, looks like somebody actually kidnapped her this time then. Even if Renoed did abandon him that time, looks like someone's actually kidnapped her this time. Hard to argue with that, and hard to foresee what he's prepared to do to free her, get her back. Yeah, if he's gonna keep he's on killing. to kill, that's clear. Very. As would you be for Yennefer. He kills, for he cares for her deeply. And that blood, those individuals, they mean nothing to him. Except for that one count. Yeah, I get it now. He's out to rescue a female from his pack. That sounded very sarcastic. Exactly. Right, so someone's blackmailing him. We know that. Still have no idea who. Need to look around some more. Okay then. Do you think you can find anything else here? Because if... Detlof knew who was blackmailing him, don't you think that he would go after her, the guy? Examine the drawing. Woman's likeness. It's yeah, we've seen that. That ran away. I don't know. As I said, I never met her. Reminds me of someone. Who? Not sure. Can't help feeling I've seen that face before, though. Huh. Hmm. Doesn't really ring a bell to me. Letters naming the beast's target. The beast. Look, slips of paper, name on each. Count Crespi, Count Dulac, Milton de Peyrac Peyron, 
Count Delacroix. Detloff's victims, one and all. But that's not his hand. Must have come from whoever wrote the letter. Who is the fifth name then? Using the same ink. Because there hasn't been a fifth victim. So. See the color. Ink was dyed with cinnabarite, rare mineral, pretty much found only in Nazaire. But I fear it means very little. Anyone could have imported such ink. Fair enough. Still worth remembering. Look, this slip is stained with wine. Not much to go on either, especially not in Beauclair. Perhaps. Yet perhaps also worth remembering. Okay. Blackmailer. Kinda curious who it could be. Why is that? Regis. Somebody kidnapped a vampire's lover. Bold to begin with. Now they're forcing the vampire to kill. A vampire you yourself insisted no murderer. Blackmailer's skilled. Someone well, Maybe special. someone we know. Mm. Astute. Now that I think of it, I'm beginning to wonder if... It's not one of your kind? Another vampire? Precisely. The plot thickens. It does Just indeed. A hypothesis. Wouldn't set my heart on it till we know more. Right you are. Okay, let's sum up what we know. Let's sum up what we know. Seems Deadlaugh's being blackmailed. Someone's been feeding him his victims' names. I thought there were five They're victims. down using one and the same Nazari ink. And not in his handwriting. Not much. But enough to ascertain Detloff's innocence, clearly. True, kind of. Actually, it is. Detloff's being manipulated. Some lunatics turned him into a tool, making him kill. So it would seem. But this illuminates a path of action for us. We must find Renowed, render the blackmail senseless. The lunatic or ticks will thus lose hold on Detloff. That's one idea. Hmm, could be worth a shot. But what about Detloff? He gonna go on killing while I'm out searching for his lover? He will not. I shall convince him to stay his hand. Assure him you're a friend seeking to help. I'll await him here. He's sure to return sooner or later. Okay then. Think he'll listen? He will. Good luck I with that, Regis. You, maybe. No, he'll sense you from a mile off. Simply fail to appear. I'd better stay alone. You must trust me on this. Fine. Need to report to the Duchess first. So be it. We'll await you here. Detlaf and I both. Okay, it doesn't take us to the Duchess immediately, so we have a bit of leeway here. So that's where children toil, toys waste away. And we leveled up again. This is going rather quickly. So let's uh, take that ability point then. The Undying skill seems to be very interesting, especially on this difficulty. When Vitality reaches zero, Adrenaline points will immediately be consumed to restore it. The amount restored is based on the number of adrenaline points used. If no adrenaline points are available, a small portion of vitality will be restored anyway. So let's acquire that. I'm not going to equip it just yet, but it sounds really interesting to use. So that's no that. I'm actually doubting what to do now. I could continue just the main quest with uh, Wine is Sacred. So, uh, reporting to the Duchess, but maybe I'm gonna delve into the side quests a what bit guess. first. So, let's see. So, let's go with the paper chase quest. So, uh, we met a man that we, uh, I think probably in the books then, helped once. And he promised us some what money that he put in the bank and that we could go and uh, fetch. But it will probably not be that easy. Otherwise, that would be just free money. So, I'll see you at the Cian Fanelli bank in a minute so the bank this looks like the bank the grand palace is the the waypoint we just discovered with this uh huh. must say it looks kind of like trafalgar square but hey let's enter the bank hello uh coin always i am right no, here the central Welcome to Gianfanelli Bank, where we look at the Fanelli. We our own, and the customer's always right. How might I be of service? Uh, I'm here to withdraw some coin. Got an account here. Like to make a withdrawal. Naturally. Your name? Geralt of Rivia. Wait a moment, please, while I find the relevant record. That could probably take a while. I'm assuming it's not digital. But since this is a game, this won't take too long, I suppose. Is that Nibbles? 
Nibbles the cat. Because as you might remember, Geralt doesn't have a good relationship with cats. Because cats kind of dislike him because of his eyes. I'm afraid I can't help you. Extraordinary circumstances, you see. There's a note in the records. The account holder is dead. Excuse me? That's inaccurate, as you can see. It's some kind of mistake. The note is clearly an error. To reactivate the account, you'll need permit A38. For more information, please go to window number one. Seriously? All right. Where's window number one? Um, oh, this is going to be one of those, isn't it? Is this like in real life? We need document A, go to there. Document B, go to somewhere else. Okay. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc, etc. Yeah, indeed, etc, etc. Et uh, permit A38, please? I'd like to reactivate my account, so I need a copy of permit A38. Wrong window, I fear. Excuse me? God damn it. Happen to know where I can do it then? Hmm. Let me think. Perhaps upstairs? In records? Or downstairs in the archive? You must ask them, sir. Oh, for Dude, just fuck's that. sake. There we go. I'm gonna go through archives first. So that's downstairs. So let's take the stairs. And get that permit. Because apparently the bank thinks I'm dead. Our bank is the pride of all Again, let's go in here. Bank clerk. What Hello, is sir. It? Folk are hot at work. Yeah, you really look like it. Need permit A38. I need permit A38. Any chance you could issue me a copy? Fiddlesticks. I've oh, just. For, oh, for fuck's sake. Wait, really? Of course not. In truth, I've never had anything of the sort. This is the archive. Um. Any chance we can make a deal? Listen. Say I made a small donation to a certain member of the bank's staff. A bribe, sir? How dare you? I truly cannot help. This is the archive. Okay, then. Goodbye. That'll be all. Thanks. Let's go to records, then. Yes, yes, it's what they always say. And once you're upstairs, do tell them not to send every lost fool with a problem to me. I've work to do. You're working in the archive. What? Damn bureaucracy. Yes, indeed, damn bureaucracy. What's what's yes. that on the floor? You have a concern? All in order. She and Fanelli's save deposit boxes. Times are tough, coins tight, and to make matters worse, there are thieves ready to pounce on even a moment of inattention. Luckily, the Sian Fanelli Bank has a solution for you. Put your trust in one of our save deposit boxes, which are secured not only against normal breaking methods, but also by a lot of bureaucracy, but also against magic and telepathy. Don't tarry. Come safeguard your valuables with us today. Okay then. Hello, dwarven gods. Don't mind me. Let's go to a record. What the, what's that noise? Is that the fire? Jesus. It's really loud fire. There's a catch. Catch 22. Catch 22, yeah. And permit 38. 838. Over here on the right, then? Why is the door opening? Hi! Sorry, gotta get through. Hold there! What is this? Back off the queue, sir! Bye bye! Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank. I apparently jumped where the queue. We look after your coin as if it were our own. And the customer is always. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah, oh, yada, yada, yada. Need a document, please, where now! I get permit A38? Naturally. Just hand oh, me for, your form oh, for Seriously? Please. <laughs> Form 202? Just what are you trying to pull? Sir, I'm not pulling anything. Just following procedure. Permit A38 can only be issued upon presentation of Form 202. I'm, I'm about to smash my head into my microphone. Please, go to it might sound one. something like this. <sighs> Just came from there. That was it. Never mind. Be back shortly with Form 202. Ah. Uh... The window one, so that was the woman that said, oh for fuck's sake, yeah, she's gonna be, they're gonna be mad because I jumped the queue probably. Deep you sigh. You cut in front of me, sir. 
Oh, dude. I have magic. I will use it. Nope, been here all along. What are you gonna do about it? Let's just try and lie to his face, despite him seeing that I just cut in front. Did no such thing. Been standing here the whole time. Is that so? You know you're the third today to try that ruse. Seriously? I will not stand for this. Just you wait, I'll teach you some manners. Seriously? Go on, hit me. He apparently is, is not going to do that. Those two who are just staring. Oh, gentlemen, if you wish to raise a ruckus, do it outside. Outside, now. Uh, no. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bureaucracy and then fisticuffs. What a combination. Yeah, they're, all, they're already cheering. We haven't done anything yet. It's just one guy. I beat up three guys at once in the previous episode. Seriously? I shall teach you the meaning of decency. Gonna smack you into the wall. Is, is it true? Am I gonna get humbled? I don't think I'm gonna get humbled. I shall teach you the meaning of decency. And down he goes. Just leave him over there in the corner. Okay. So window number one for form 202. I'm gonna drag her through the. Is she? Is she gone? Come on. Where the hell she go? Is she on break? Hair pomade. Need to follow the scent. Could be the lead I need. Oh, for, f for fuck's sake. She often goes deep in what the dark. So she went in here. But they're here. Can I help you? So They're see, gossiping. She claims puffed sleeves will be in fashion next season. Excuse me. Got something I gotta huh? take care of at window you one. cannot be serious. I too. Seriously? To You're just gonna it. ignore me? Excuse me. Can you not see what it says there? Uh. We're on our break. Celine, darling, sign this for me, will you? Oh, there you are. Listen, there's something I... We're on I... break. <laughs> Ah, you try to be polite, it just never gets through. Okay, then what now? Sit and wait until the break ends. Yeah, no choice, I guess. Need to wait till oh, for fuck's break. sake. And now we're gonna have a conversation with that gentleman, probably. Never thought I'd see you must Geralt wait. waiting for we the bank. A break now. Yes, indeed. We know. So We're astutely aware of that. To get here, my Money. Permit A38. Though, guess I need Form 202 as well now. Form 202? Easy peasy. Certificate P. Now, that is a challenge. Is that going to be the next thing? But, as we are both forced to wait... Fancy a round of Gwyn. Well, why not, eh? Since we're here... Why not? Let's lay him out. Now, that I understand. I'll start arranging my deck. So I'll fast forward it again, so you don't have to watch the whole thing, but... Oh, there's new music! Look at that! Okay, let's start the game. Fine, fine, fine. Maybe swap. Bison. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the pirouette is nice, although I could get something else in return. Yeah, not bad. Okay, let's start with a extra, And that gives us two more cards. There we go. Ooh, another one. Yep, I have that one too. I have other lock as well. So there we go. Two more cards. Ooh, look at that. I have another spy. All three of my spies. And that one goes to me, which is also great. 
we're just gonna start off with uh, Vernon Roach. I'm liking the music, by the way. And my opponent passed already, which is actually pretty great. Because I won this round then. This isn't gonna take long. I'm gonna crush him, look at that! Look at that! So let's go with these one, ones first. I like to waste a few cards before they have the chance to uh, use any anything fancy. So let's go with that, and then I'm gonna use another Spy. There we go. Let's uh, get Deepstrap back in there. Gives us two more cards. And then Torrential Rain, which is actually not that bad. There we go. Good for you. Two can play that game. Oh, baby. Dude, you just give up. You're gonna lose. You're going to lose. So let's start losing these siege weapons. Oh, God, seriously. Yep, yep. Seriously. So we all are going to have a humongous amount of... Oh, God, another one. Another one. If only that sixth one wasn't there. Could have taken that 20 points. Oh, that's that's actually pretty annoying. My turn. Well, I guess I'm gonna go with that one. Oh, there we go. Maybe wait. I'm gonna boost my front row. My sword row. Yes, 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 yes. Added to that. I'm gonna go with this. Still waiting for my uh my good break here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna remove all those twelves, which is happening right now. Bam. Goodbye, sir. Yeah. Knew that was going to happen sometime. So let's use my leader cards. Boosting those up immediately, but it's just to uh to waste some more time. Because now I'm gonna boost these three guys, and that should put me over, I think. That's not that bad. So now I get two more cards. Yeah, I'm over already. And I won! Hooray! Hooray! There we go. And Gwent won. A seasoned player, I see. Congratulations. Thank you. Did I get a new card? As your prize, I shall reveal to you my foolproof method for cutting through this bureaucracy. Oh, that's great. Nothing ever comes of using the normal channels. I have seen them try everything. Magic, hypnosis, bribery. Nothing works. But what does then? Might as well go if nothing works. There's nothing I can do. Be kind. Be pleasant. This and only this. The woman here, she sits at her window 12 hours each day without hearing so much as a good day from anyone. So just be nice? Okay then. But muster up some flowers, some perfume. Well, you will resolve your matter lickety split. Okay then. Sounds like a plan. Right. Certainly worth a shot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So I didn't get a card, but I got the uh, advice. And the poor man is still waiting. Okay, so now... Return to window one. Did I get the flowers or something? Or... No? Nothing? Oh, okay, then. Welcome to Chanfanelli Bank, where we look after your coin as if it were our own, etc., etc. How can I help you, sir? Um... Hmm. This isn't gonna... I mean, I didn't get a, another option, right? Need Form 202 to get a copy of Permit A38. Do you know that? Couldn't have told me? Wasted a lot of time because of you. Please, sir. There's no need to lose your temper. I thought it obvious and thus needed no stating. The form will soon be ready. Name and surname? Geralt of Rivia. Where's the part where I can be friendly? Find it, get on, Gemel. Here it is, Geralt of Rivia. Is of Rivia his sub surname? Sorry, sir, I cannot issue form two or two. Excuse me. The applicant in question has been declared dead, officially. Now, do tell me, sir, how am I to enter that into the ledger? Give flowers, tell you the truth. I'm really just here to see you. Uh, let's start with the flowers then. Got you some flowers, just to thank you for helping me with my file. Oh, but I... I shouldn't. For me? Really? Yes. Match the color of your eyes. Oh, 
You, sir, are quite the charmer. Yes, we are. Ah, Ooh, please, wink, wink. Wait a moment. I shall fetch Master Chinfanelli. Perhaps he'll arrange something that excludes the paperwork. That was easy. And it's starting turning this into a bit of a longer episode. But hey, hopefully we get some money out of it. Uh, you tell him, Danny Disturbed, but no, always some bugger who can't stand to wait. Plow me, who's this? Hearty greetings, Master Geralt. You haven't paid us a visit in eons. Thank you, lady. I'm a bit busy, but I'm back now and I need your help with something. Of course. Now do tell. Does Geralt How know every bank owner in the world? Got a problem with my account. Got a problem with my account. Wanted to withdraw some coins, see, but... No problem there. We'll get you paid up in a jiffy. I'm just going to need to settle yon tiny wee trifle. Heard that already. Permit A38, among others. Oh, my hands are tied without them, Geralt. But I see you're a quick learner in the ways of banking. You'll get them in a heartbeat. Okay, then. Why are we waiting, then? Chen Finelli, no more excuses. Pay out my coin, now. Come on, Master Witcher, for why the ire? There's no need. We'll have it all for you. You just need to see the necessary documents. Got a document right here means a hell of a lot more than any of your forms or permits. Have a look. <laughs> Her enlightened highness. She's hired you. Yeah, she has. Mm -hmm. And as her personal emissary, I demand access to my account right now. Uh, uh, aye, Master Witcher. This way. Why? Why all the secrecy? So the trade these days, Master Witcher? Can't complain. Good for you, because in our neck of the woods, things are dark, dark shit. Giacomo. Wine sales are stuck in the muck and sinking deeper. It's the fucking wretched names, I tell you. Folk out with the duchy have they any notion how to say coat de blessure ah, and all that. It twists their tongues in bloody knots. Makes them ashamed to ask for it. Okay. So... Done. Deposit box 256. Last year on the right. You say people have trouble uh, pronouncing French names. That is that it. So this one then. Hello. And then... That one? In the middle? And now there's nothing in there. I'm going to be so pissed. Uh-oh. He's looking guilty as hell. Seriously? What the hell's this, Chen Finelli? Box is empty. Well, uh, coins got to circulate. So when we learned you were dead, Master, we uh, circulated yours. Purchased stocks, bonds, invested in a few vineyards. Before we knew it, there was hee-haw left in the box. Really ought to call it what it is. You robbed me, plain and simple. Nay, nee, Master Witcher, never! I wouldn't Seriously? Care. Do I need oh, to kill these dare. two little fellas? And now you'll answer for it. Open the gate. Master Witcher, I'll pay it all back, every red copper. I swear it on my nana's beard. Is that why you just locked me into your vault with two of your guards? I'll rip that coin out of your throat if I have to. Yeah, I'm kind of pissed after all that bureaucracy bullshit. Fooled me once, not about to let you fool me again. Master Geralt, I beg you, keep your heat. We can work this out. I know we can. Rip that coin out of your throat if I have to. Guards, help! Yeah, I mean, the guards were already there. Grab him. Seriously? Um, seriously? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, I can't. Oh, fuck. I can't even dodge come that. On, come to daddy. Seriously? Pull out your fucking swords, Geralt. Bugger off, troublemaker. Come on. That Master was. Master Witcher, your coin. Shan't call the guard. But do us a wee favor and never come back. Two hundred can do without patron. Fucking crowns. That was bullshit, by the way. I should have just pulled my swords out and whacked those asses. I mean, I understand it in certain situations that you can't use your signs, but that was just plainly ridiculous. Couldn't use signs. Couldn't use my swords. 
while I was locked up in a vault with two fucking dwarves trying to attack me. But hey, that's uh, the paper chase quest. We didn't get too much out of it, but too bad we couldn't do more. But uh, that's it for this episode. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give the talk to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video or stream. Goodbye!